Welcome everyone. Thanks for tuning in on the Dead White 4 by YouTube channel. I hope all of you are doing well. And today I'm going to help you guys to fix that awful problem of finding your car in the middle of the road. Because your handbrake isn't working. And yeah, I know it. It sucks. But in this video I'm going to help you guys fix that. So let's go. Let's go to my shop. Fix my Volvo. As you can see over here on this awesome painting. Especially made for me, one of a kind. So let's go to my shop and fix this thing. And yeah, let's start this video. And today we're gonna fix the handbrake. And these things have a handbrake that's actually a driven brake that is in your disc rotor. So if you don't know what I'm saying right now, you will know it in the end of the video. So make sure you watch this to the end. So let's start. What do you need to change this thing? And I want to give a huge shout out to my friends over at R&D Car Parts. These guys are amazing in what they do. They have a lot of car parts laying around in their shop. They have the most unique things you want to find for your car. They have everything for Saab and Volvo, old ones, new ones, everything you need. So check them out, link is in the description. So let's go on with the video. So, these are the parts you of course need. These cost me around 20 bucks I think. So 20 euros, 20 dollars for four simple brake rotors and uh, brake pads I mean. And some springs and other things you need to fit these braking shoes. So that's one thing you need. Of course you need some tools. So I have here my ratchet set. I have a hammer, some pliers, some screwdrivers. Right here I have a wheel gun and I have my car jack. I also keep always these around. Some brake cleaner and some WD-40 to grease things up or get them loose or anything. And of course you always need this. Some old t-shirt. So the first thing you want to do is get the screwdriver or if your rims are open, you can just get them off straight away. So, this is your brake, of course. There's a tiny nut over here. You need this to come loose. And if this one is loose, you can pull your complete brake rotor off. But first, you need to take off your brake caliper. So you take this upper bolt off. That's one. There's another one below there. So, after you get your two caliper bolts out, and these are of course on the back side, as you, can, as you saw earlier. So, the thing I do is grab a piece of electrical wire, or you can use a zip tie or anything. But behind this is a steel brake line. If this uh, kinks or it snaps, then you need to redo all of your brake stuff. So, you want to be very careful taking this off and as soon as it gets off you're gonna put your cable through and I like to just hang it up on your uh, spring so as you can see my brake is hanging here this is perfect what you're gonna do now is take your ratchet and then we are gonna go and Turn this one out of there. That's that. This is a 10 millimeter bolt, so you just use a 10 millimeter socket. You want to uh, disconnect your brake. Remember to do that because your hand, my handbrake was on, and then you won't get it off. And now you do. This is your brake disc. There you have it. So, after taking your old handbrake pads off, and I didn't show that on camera, but these are connected with the lower notch in there, and they are behind this plate, and then they're positioned like this. There's a spring running from this one to the other one and there's a spring in the back from this point to the lower point. 
So use a spring tensioner or if you want to be risky. Use this one and get those springs out. You can also use a screwdriver. After getting the springs out, you can just do it like that. Clean this up and then we're going to install them. So after cleaning your complete uh, hub and everything around it, you have your backing plate. I took this apart already so I can just take off these bolts and what that will do is give you access to this little metal plate. And this little metal plate is the one sitting over here as you saw earlier and this one is just holding down your brake pad. And of course with R&D parts and their awesome surface they have a complete brake kit with two of these clamps with them. So I can just put these on and then we're done. But first I'm going to clean up the bolts. So after installing the spring on the lower end over there you have your top spring and we also have we have this kind of plate so that's that this one is gonna go over there and the thing we need to do next I guess is getting this tiny spring underneath there and I'm sorry guys, but I can't help you teach how to do install a spring. Uh, you need a special kind of tool that's like a bent over screwdriver to do this. Um, yeah, you can also do this with this one, but I recently had it too. Your spring snaps off, you get the spring in your face and you're blind. So don't do that. Um, get some tools that you need and do it the same way. So uh, yeah, that's that. So I'll put on the spring and then this one, this side is done and we can put on the brake rotor back and as I found out that my brake pads are just completely done on one side, I have a new box of brake pads over here. So let's put on the spring. So I put that spring on, the back, the, the in between plate is there, the lower spring is in. This is the thing that will separate your brakes, this piece over here. So, so changing your handbrake is very easy, just get the thing off, get a new handbrake in, put this thing back on, put your caliper back on and then you're done. So that's it. And we're back over here. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys can fix your own Volvo 240 handbrake right now. If you like this video, please leave a huge thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button and that bell so I can make more awesome videos for you guys. There is a whole lot more coming. I'm posting every Monday and every Friday. So that's it for today. Hope you guys like it and I will see you guys on our next one.